All right, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Devin Nunes, is now preparing to send eight criminal referrals to the Attorney General, William Barr, over the alleged misconduct during the Trump-Russia investigation. Also, just breaking now, Devin Nunes has filed a $150 million lawsuit against McClatchy News and alleging conspiracy to derail the Clinton-Russia probes. Congressman joins us now with the very latest. Let's start with your lawsuit. Wasn't this the same McClatchy that said that Michael Cohn was in Prague? When Michael, well, I knew where Michael Cohn was. His son is a great athlete. His son, he was in Los Angeles with his son. Uh, well, let's just say showing off his son's great talent. Yeah, he they, never was in Prague. And they doubled down on stupid. But that's only yeah, one they did that twice, Sean. So they had dozens and dozens of stories. So a couple of the reporters there were the biggest uh, perpetuators of the Russia hoax. Uh, and don't forget, they also targeted the National Rifle Association. They targeted a lawyer, uh, Cleta Mitchell. So all of this was done uh, in concert while they were slandering and attacking me and defaming me, attacking Republicans. And the whole time they were getting this information from someone. And so part of the lawsuit here is not only that you know, they need to retract everything that they did against me, but they also need to come clean with the American people, retract all of their fake news stories. And so this is part of the broader cleanup. So remember a few weeks ago, I, I filed against Twitter that they're, they're censoring conservatives. Uh, McClatchy is one of the biggest, uh, the worst offenders of this, but we're coming after the rest of them. I think people are just beginning to wake up now that I'm serious, I'm coming to clean up all of the mess. So if you're out there and you lied and you defamed, uh, we're going to come after you. Well, I would add to the list, you know, the cowardly Schiff. You know, I've offered him an hour on the show and yeah, I have a well, dossier on Schiff. I can't, I can't sue. I can't sue him. Uh, but I have, uh, I have but him I, in his I own words documented. I offered him three hours on radio and one hour here. I don't, know why, I don't know why he doesn't take it up, but, but he doesn't want to tell you. I guess he's afraid. Uh, I got a tape of him colluding with a Russian, or somebody That's believed right. to be a Russian, that had compromising materials and naked pictures of Trump. And, you know, he was hyperventilating on the phone call, didn't know he was being, it was a hoax. Um, and don't but, forget, even after that, the staff, the Democratic staff followed up. So the media ignored, that's another thing that they ignored. So there's two things that, that happened in this, right? You had fake news stories that were very slanderous that have got to be wiped away and cleaned off the internet. And at the same time, you had that they would take these stories and ignore them, like the fact that you had staffers here that were attempting to collude with Russians, Democratic staffers colluding with Russians, trying to get information on Donald Trump. I mean, that really happened, and it's went you know, largely unreported, except by well, uh, Devin, know, very few in the conservative media. And we also had the Hillary bought and paid for dossier, real right, Russian collusion, paid for to influence the election. Now we've got the we've got evidence. Ukraine, the Ukrainian officials on them with evidence and a tape. Joe Biden bragging they fired him. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. I want to get to the criminal referral issue. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you begin with eight, but there might be more. What can you tell us and how soon? Yeah, so the, simply put, there's five that are straightforward. So five on lying, leaking, obstructing Congress. Those are five, five specific names. There are three. One is a global leak uh, uh, referral. So remember, there's been, I mean, everybody knows about general, the leak between General Flynn and the Russian ambassador. We don't know that that's ever been investigated, but there's about a dozen others. So we're referring all of those to make sure that they get the proper sunlight put on them and transparency so that they can be followed up on. The other two, I think, are more difficult that, that are involve conspiracy. Uh, I think there were a bunch of people who wanted to be the next Watergate deep throat within the FBI and DOJ, and they were leaking, and they were proud to do it, and they were all conspiring together, and that's what we're asking the DOJ to look into. If we don't hold them accountable, for this abuse of power, this corruption at the highest levels to, uh, to first influence and help one candidate over another and then and then literally upend the election of the American people, it will happen again and again. We'll lose the republic. Holding them accountable is key. Thank you, Congressman.